Hey guys, so this week we have our lesson for 1.7, which is dealing with credit card numbers. And the idea is your credit card numbers, or at least your major ones, are going to have 16 digit numbers, of which 15 of those digits identify the specific card. And then the last digit is a check digit, or you know, identifying is, has there been any fraud that needs to be uh, identified. It's uh, like just a sort of fail safe safe method. All right, so when we look at it, you have an MII, which is this first part here. The MII is for your major industry identifier. So this is your MasterCard, you know, your Visa, any of your major companies that are out there. Then you have your issuer identifier. Your issuer identifier, that would be the bank that gave you the card. Uh, so you know that can be any bank. You, you know, first Franklin, you got First Citizen, you got Wells Fargo. Yeah, you, you know, there's all kinds of banks that it could be. So that's what uh, who issued it to you. Your account number is going to be a unique number to you, and then the check digit is adding up to make sure it ends in a zero. All right. So for our example here, we see that Mastercard. Uh, all the numbers begin with a. Five, and so we could have a 51, a 52, a 53, a 54, or a 55. Right? So that's how the MasterCard, the company itself, starts. So the first number right here, that's going to be a five. So so it's got there's only one option. It's a five. All right. So it's a five for MasterCard. Then the second one, we just said that the second digit is either a one, a two, a three, a four, or a five. So then there's five options for that second digit. All right, then for the next 13 digits, because we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, because we have 1, 2, plus 13, that's 15, and then our this one is our check digit at the very end. All the other ones, they can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 0. So they have 10 options for all these numbers here. That could be your account number or the bank uh, itself that issues it to you. So there's, there's a lot of options that are available. All right? The check number is always going to be a specific number to add up to equal zero. So there's only one option there. So when we break all this down, we have a one. We can multiply that by a five, so that's the first one. And then we have 10, and we said we had 13 blanks. So it's 10 to the 13th, and then there's one at the very end. So that would be 5 times 10 to the 13th, and we can just leave it in that form. All right, so that would be the maximum number of cards uh, that they could issue that would be available, which is a lot of cards, but you know, there's also a lot of people in the world, and so we're you know trying to see. So then when we see the next part, it says a check digit used to help validate. So that's that last part I was pointing to with the last number trying to validate the card, and it's a way to you know, protect from uh, potential theft. It's not, you know, people can still figure this out because it's a, um, and you'll see in the video, it's, it's a set coding system. So what we're going to do is add the digits in the odd numbered positions. All right, so for our example here, our odd numbered positions, one, Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. We don't know the sixteenth one. All right, so just our odd numbered positions. We would have a four, a six. So let's just write these out here: four and a six, a zero, a one, a three, a five, a seven, and a nine. All right, so those are all of our odd numbered positions and then it says to double that so times two so times two all right then we're following our next step so our next step in the progression here we see that uh, it says to add the number of odd position digits that are more than four all right so if they're greater than four then we're going to use those so uh, this is a six that's greater than four so a four that's equal to four it's not greater than so we're not using that one we have a 5, we have a 7, we have a 9. So it's, all right, well, how many do we have? Well, we got one of them, two of them, three of them, four of them. All right, so that's our middle part. So that's our, that's our step two. That's here. All right, so we got that in green. So step two, 
right there in green. All right, our step one was uh, in purple, so I can write that underneath. Step one. Step one. All right. Let's shift here. We'll go blue with the next one. All right, so step three, add the even digits. All right, so that's everything else that falls in between. So that would be, in this case, a one, two, a zero, a two, a four, a six, and an eight. All right, the other thing that is also in an odd position is the letter that we don't know, our check digit. That's why we're doing this, is to figure out what that should be. All right, so that's step three. So step three. Then it says choose a check digit number that makes this calculation total a number whose final digit is zero. All right, so that's what we're going to do at the very end. So let's go ahead and put it all together. So we'll just get a, a neutral color there. So we've got, uh, let's see, 4, 6, that's 10, 11, 14, 19. So, all right, so we're at 2 times 35. Our 4 is just our 4. And then we've got one that's 3, 5, 9, 15, all right, 23. So we've got 23 plus the letter D that we don't know that value yet. All right, so that's 70, 93, 97. So we have 97 plus D. All right, so that takes care of steps one, two, three. Then when it's step four, it says choose to where the next, so we want this to add up to equal a zero. So the next zero is 100. So we got 97, and you could set this equal to 100 if you wanted to, or most you could do that in your head, 100 minus 97. That means the check digit for this one is a three. So that last number for this to give our sum of zero would be a three. So that's what we are looking to do to see that the check digit for the last one should be a three. All right, and that's how we identify it. All right, so number three, what is the check digit for the MasterCard numbers? And it gives us another set of numbers. So we're going to do those same steps and work our way through. So with those same steps, I'll go back to our same colors here. So we would have uh, our odd number digits, and we're going to double it. So two times our odd digits. So first, two, five, seven, just every other right here. All right. So we have a five, a two, a nine, a one, a two, a two, a zero, and an eight. All right. So those are that's all of our step one. Once again, then we're going to take those odd numbers and which one's more than four. All right. So we're looking at which one's going to be greater than four. We got one right there. There's another one, and there's another one. All right. So we got one, two three of them that are more than four. All right, so with three of them more than four, we just write plus three. We'll shift to our blue here just to follow along with our steps. Step three, add the even number positions. So with our even number positions, it's everything that's going to fall in between there. So falling in between, we've got a four, a four, an eight, a three, a seven. We'll put another room here. A zero, a zero, and then the D for the check digit number that we don't know. All right, so from there we add up all of our purple. So we're adding up all of our purple. We work through, we got two times, oh, I switched it back here. All right, so we got two, and then we're multiplying that by 29. That's our middle one. Our three is just our three. The far right, when we add all that up, we got eight, 16, 19, 26. All right, so we got 26 plus we don't know the D, or the letter that we're looking for for our check digit. So we have uh, 2 times 29, so that would be 58, so that's 61, and we're 87. All right, so we got 87 plus D, so the next zero would be a 90, so we want to add it up to be a 90, so you could go 90 minus 87, so D in this case is also a three for our check digit. All right, and that's part of the algorithm that is run by the credit card companies to make sure that, in fact, when it's used, it is used correctly. All right, so now we're following our steps. So we're taking our odd digits and we're doubling those. So we would have every other digit here. All right, so we have two times four plus two plus zero plus one 
plus 4 plus 8 plus 0 plus 1. So that gets care of, it takes care of odd numbers. We're looking for which one's larger than 4, just an 8. So that's our plus 1. So that's our middle term. Then our last part of the term here is we are looking for all of our evens. So that's everything in the middle of it. So that gives us a 1, an 8, a 0, a 2, a 3, a 9, a 1, and a 0 because we've got our digits. All right, so for this one, we're trying to see, right, is this going to be valid? Meaning, will this add up to, to have a zero at the end? So we got 2 times 20 plus 1. And then we add up all of this, it's plus 24. So when we add, combine all of that, we have 65. All right, so the problem with that is we like when they do the check and they're running to see is this an accurate number it would need to be 60 or 70 like it's got to end in a zero for this algorithm to be accurate that they use so since it's 65 we would say um, when it says is this a valid number it would be invalid all right because it does not end in zero so does not end in zero so that one is invalid. All right, if someone made a single digit error when entering this invalid number, can you tell which digit would be incorrect? Uh, well, the problem is there's so many options there that uh, any single digit could be increased or decreased to get it to zero. I mean, you could just pick any of Like this could be, oh, that needs to be a nine, and then we'd, we'd get to zero. Or maybe this one needs to be a six, and it would get us to zero. So there's no real way of knowing which number it is. Uh, so we could just say any single digit can increase or decrease, for that matter, to get us to zero or to result in zero. All right. Change one digit in this invalid number so the resulting number is valid. Again, you could pick whichever one you want, so this is up to you. Um, you guys will just fill this in on your uh, Google Doc and just pick. I know I just gave a couple examples that you could increase or decrease, but that's all on, on you guys. So hopefully this helped. I found it interesting about the credit card numbers and kind of what's on there. Uh, and if nothing else, you got a little conversation starter for when you guys are uh, you know looking for something to discuss. All right, have a good one.